The main problem we have here in northern Arizona is that most people can't even conceive of the possibility that snow avalanches occur in Arizona. People think of cacti when they think of Arizona, but here, this wilderness here, we have a, this volcano that's uh, almost 13,000 feet tall, and so uh, this is one of the few places in Arizona that avalanches are actually very, very common. It's very important for people to realize where the ski area boundaries are and that when they are inside of that boundary, they are taken care of by ski area personnel, including the ski patrol. Avalanche hazards are mitigated, and they have the lifts to get them to the different locations. But as soon as people cross the boundary into the wilderness area, it's very important for you to realize you're on your own out there. No agency is responsible for patrolling that backcountry. It's a wilderness area. You are completely reliant on your skills, your judgment, the gear and supplies that you have with you, and therefore, people just need to fully respect the ski area boundaries. The Sheriff's Office covers the entire county, which is uh, over 18,600 square miles, so one of the things that's really important about being prepared uh, and being able to aid in your own rescue is that rescue may be hours away, especially in backcountry wilderness locations. It's, uh, Dialing a 911, you know, we don't instantly appear. It's often, it takes us some time to travel to the location and conduct the rescue. So you need to be prepared uh, to provide for your own safety in the backcountry while we're responding. If you're caught in an avalanche, you, you, need to, you need to know how to get yourself out. The best chance of rescue is gonna be by you and your party if you're ever caught in the avalanche. But the key is prevention, it really is. The key is prevention and that comes from education and sharing information. Whenever you venture into the winter backcountry, you want to carry at least the 10 essentials and the three winter backcountry essentials. And those include a fire starting kit, extra food, extra water, first aid kit, extra warm clothes, navigation equipment including map and compass, pocket knife or a multi-tool, flashlight or a headlamp, rain gear or a tarp uh, for shelter building and sun protection including sunscreen and sunglasses. The three winter backcountry essentials are the avalanche shovel, avalanche probe and avalanche beacon. To be a responsible winter backcountry user you need to gain some uh, education because uh, within a ski area like the Arizona Snowball Resort the ski patrol does uh, various things to mitigate avalanche hazards but as soon as you go out the boundaries and you're in the backcountry you really have to be your own avalanche forecaster. You need to be able to assess the snowpack and decide whether it's dangerous or not. You need to perform your own rescues. In order to do this you need to get some more information. There's lots and lots of opportunities for getting more education. Uh, part of the reason that Kachina Peaks Avalanche Center exists is so that we can provide that and we, uh, we put on free uh, clinics every year and we also offer some more professional level uh, clinics for people who are really avid backcountry users or want to gain a higher level of expertise. But as I said before and I want to reinforce, you can be the world's greatest expert and you really need to make good prudent decisions uh, regardless. And uh, sometimes the person that appears to be the expert is actually not uh, expert in, in terms of their risk management. And so uh, when you're picking partners, just remember that you might pick somebody who has a lot of background. You also want to pick somebody that uh, has, has their, their survival and your survival as their, uh, as their top priority rather than um, the acquiring first tracks in new snow. A take home message from Search and Rescue is to be prepared and to be able to participate in your own rescue. Uh, rescue in the winter backcountry may be several hours away, so you need to be prepared to take care of yourself for a period of time while search and rescue is responding. Make sure to tell somebody where you're going and when you plan to re return so that when you're, if you don't return, we're able to look for you in the right location. Education is available and a lot of it is free. Go to our website at kachinapeaks.org and you can download the 10 essentials. We're also providing free avalanche awareness courses every month during the winter starting in December. Sign up for a level one. There's a small fee involved in a level one. Great information, three day course. And once you've completed the level one, sign up for a level two avalanche course. Education is the key to survival. Knowledge is good. Fact of the matter is, avalanches do occur in Arizona. In fact, they occur right here on San Francisco Peaks. If you're gonna venture into avalanche terrain, you need to understand avalanches. You need to understand the elements that contribute to avalanche hazard. 
Specifically, you need to know about terrain. You need to be able to identify what avalanche paths are. Paths are. You also need to understand weather and also the snowpack. More important than any of that, you really need to make good, prudent decisions in your backcountry travel. And one way of gathering more information on that is to go to the website and find out what other people are seeing in the backcountry, and this can help inform your decisions. The San Francisco Peaks and Kachina Peaks Wilderness offer fantastic backcountry opportunities, and the Arizona Snow Bowl offers excellent skiing and snowboarding opportunities. The Kachina Peaks Winter Backcountry Permit is required to ensure that you are aware of the hazards that you might face if you decide to venture from the ski area out into the Kachina Peaks Wilderness. Please know the conditions you're getting into, have companions that know what they're doing and have good experience. And remember, have, have a, a good, good time, time and be safe! safe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>